Hello friends, in this tutorial, I am showing some firefighting pipe, how we can draw in a AutoCAD and uh, before that I will introduce you to know about the details of the firefighting systems. For example, this is the fire hose rail cabinet, surface mounted, so this is the one of the um, view for that one. So this is the specifications uh, here showing. Uh, so, how much uh, numbers, uh, all the details uh, inside the box, uh, what are the things are there, so that details showing over here. And some other uh, fire extinguisher schedules also here. And uh, here is the detailed view for the firewalls rail and value insulation details and everything over here. So, how the pipe will come up over in, in this uh, firehouse rail. And this is the typical uh, detail for spingler zone control valve um, and uh, some other uh, pipe hanging support installations and everything. So this is the ceiling mounted, uh, ceiling versus uh, spingler. So that will fix it on the ceiling. So then the pipe is going there and connecting to this our main, main branch. So this is a 25 mm um, uh, dia pipe. So, so it's connecting to our main uh, main branch. That, that is the detail, detail for this one. So these the details are here. Are some fire extinguisher uh, mounting details also here. So how it's looking at how that we're fixing in the uh, uh, like in the enlarged views also there. So that is the one uh, details over here and riser details and have pipe hanger and spacing also showing over here. So it it means the spindler pipe support span schedule schedules here. So the pipe size is 25. Then we need to give the hanger spacing around the three meter. Like like the arrangement is like that. So that are the that details also we need to show in the shop drawing and the side uh, the, the the pipe uh, hanging details and everything side wall in the wall support details and everything showing over here. So how it's uh, how how it's work? I will show you the I will show you how to do, draw the pipes in a uh, in in well, you have single line diagram so then. How to make the pipes? I will show you. So this is like a 150 mm, 100 mm pipe. So it's coming from here and connecting to this uh, riser and going up. So first of all, we need to make uh, two uh, risers. So this is the block for the uh, riser. So just uh, need to move this one, and we just need to connect this one. And uh, again, we need to just move with this one. So the uh, sorry, just uh, deleting this one. Just copy, copy this one. one. So, so this, this is the riser. Okay. So, so the this pipe this will go up or down uh, to a bore down. So you can need to give the just a exactly the tag for that one. So our pipe is coming from here, 100 mm or 150. We will say like 150 mm, uh, 150 dia pipe is coming from here. So we need to do that one. So that one we need to make some blocks. Okay. Then this is. Like, like the pipe diameter is around 150. This is 120 and this one is like a 150. Okay, so this is the pipe for the 150 dia pipe. So we need to draw the how it's work. I will show you. So first we need to create some blocks. And for the blocks, I am just creating that one. And I am just a pipe uh, 150 um, dia pipe. SP okay, okay, SP okay. Then, then I start pick the point and I'm speaking the center of this one. Select okay and I'm clicking like this. Click okay. So it's open to the so this, this is the pipe uh, pipe fitting. So then, then we need to uh, just to draw a rectangle like a shift 150, comma 150. So this is the our pipe need to extend. So just to stretch up to here. So I'm creating some dynamic globe for this one. And, and just make, make a center line, line for this one, and, and I just need to give that one like, like a. Uh, I can, can give something like a center. Just to make it as the same color, color, or you need to change that color. Okay, you can change it that one. Just change the. Oh yeah, yeah, it is okay. okay. And, and the, the same thing, thing I am copying, copying, and I am fixing over here. here. I'm rotating, rotating this one, one. And, and just move to the other pipe. Fittings over here. So, so the, the two parts is created. 
Then what we need to do, we need to give a parameter. Go to linear parameter, select from here. Do like this. And same way here, you can do the things like that. Then once you've done that one, just go to the action. Stretch command, select this one and pick this point. Drag like this and select which part you need. Select it. Enter it. The same process for here. Select this one. Pick this point. Drag like this. And just select the area which area you need to stretch it and close block editor. So if you can see here already that was created and you can stretch it this one. So you can copy this one and just uh, we need to fix it over here first. So just rotate this one. Just rotate. Otherwise you can give some uh, actions also there. Go to block editor and you just need to go the parameter and just flip it. So, so you can, can uh, one flip, flip you can, can make it like this, this. and you can, can one flip they can make, make it like this and one flip, flip you can make it like this and even uh, some, some other flips, flips you need so you can uh, do the flip, flip like this. this so, so we, we, we need to we will have a three flip, flip state. state so, so just, just go to the action then the uh, flip, flip action select the flip first and select the block and the it and, and then, then uh, select the next one, one. then select the block, and enter it, and select the third one, one. and select the block, so just select the block, and enter it. So then with the flip, flip action, you can see here how it works. So just close the uh, save block, so you can see here the flipping actions are uh, worked over here. So you can easily fix the things like that. So, so once you've done that, that one, just to go here and move to here, here and just to stretch up to here. here. We'll, we'll change the line tape scale uh, one, one region. Okay, just to uh, LTS 100. Okay, okay then, then uh, just to uh, uh, the ones uh, the you can, can just fix it over in the center of this one and stretch this one. one. And you can just do like this and just to copy this one again. And I'm just stretching up to here. Just, just uh, stretching it to here and move, move this one and fix it over here. here. So, so we need another branch from, from this side. So, so what we can do just to flip, flip it this one, flip this one, this side, and we need to flip it down so we can fix it over here. Easily you can fix it that one. And uh, once you've done that one, just to flip it from here, flip it down, and just flip it this one to here. Okay, okay, so, so just, just easily you can uh, stretch, stretch the things easily, so that it will come up over here. Stretch like this, and you just need to copy this one. I'm just stretching this one. I'm keeping one one block over here, so easily you can copy it, and you can copy the things over here and copy it. And same process I need to do over here. Just I'm just I'm doing like this. And, and I'm just, just moving like, like this, and, and I'm just, just mirroring this one. Mirror down. Okay, just, just move to this here. here. Just, just mirroring this one also. We enter it, and just, just move to here, in the center line of this one. one. And just clicking like, like this, and just uh, we'll draw up, up to here. here. So, so if you want to move this one a little bit uh, closer to this one, one. So, so that will fix it over here. So this one we can go up to here. And, and this, this one, one you can stretch up to here, here easily you can make it. So, so here, here we need a T junction, so just we need to make T junction. The block are already here, here. So, so just to create a block. Uh, not, not a block, like, like you can select like this, uh, it's like exported one. one. So, so just create, create a block, select a block, select it, and the pick up a point, and give the name T dash dash SP. So, so whatever, whatever name you need to give, give just give that, that one. So just uh, draw like a shift into 150 from 150. Just, just move this one up to here. here. So, so that, that lines you can fix it over here. here. Same, Same process we need to do over here. here. So, so just, just draw a center, center line. Just give a center line um, by layer or something like that, that you can give it. So, so I can, can just give a dash for this one, one and, and I need to change the color for you can, can make it as a layer, layer okay, okay so that is the uh, best way. way so, so you can, can just move it like, like this and copy this one, one. rotate this, this one just move this one, one to here at the center, center of this same thing you copy it otherwise you can mirror from here and make for mirror 
narrow it and just, just pick it another point and do like this. So once you set that one, go to parameter, just uh, you need to stretch this part over there, then just give the distance like this, and here also you can give the distance like this. And this is very simple exercise, so you can easily make the dynamic block. And, and if, if you want, want to flip, flip it that one, one just uh, give a flip command from here. So, so here, here you need to flip, flip it, just another, you can pick it and give, and in this side, side you need to flip it, just give like that. that. So, so for flip, flip states also, also give one. Then, then go, go to action, stretch first, then select this one, and select this point, and drag like this, and select whichever part you need to stretch, just select like that. And, and just to go here also, also select, select this uh, parameter, select like this, and just to give the this one like this. Select the parameter, select this point, and drag like this, and just select the whichever part you need, just select it like this, and then write. Then the flip action, just go to the flip, the, then select the other object, and write. So, if you want to flip it on this one, just select that one, another object, that do it like this. And uh, which one is remaining? This one is remaining. So just select that one and uh, another object, select it. Close the block editor. So you can see all the flip actions are over here. And you can just uh, uh, flip it uh, where you need. You can flip it that one. So if you want to stretch that one, you can stretch it also. Something is wrong. Uh, something come too wrong. So just need to undo it. So we, we did something wrong, okay, so just uh, we need to do the same process over there and do the things, it was not worth it. So I am just uh, undoing the things, one more time go to the parameter and I am just giving the linear, just select this one, giving the parameter like this, select this one and carefully you need to do the things, otherwise it will not work, action, polar stretch, First select, select this, this one, one and I am picking this point, selecting like this and then selecting like this. Uh, selecting para stretch command and stretch para actions again and picking this point, uh, stretch and selecting this point and pick this point, do like this and just stretching this one and delete. Same thing, I am just uh, selecting this one and this point and just dragging like this and just doing like this and close it. Save changes and just you can see now it's work. Okay, so something we did it wrong, so that is what it was not showing. So once you once you set up that one, just copy this one and just uh, go to pick it in the center of this one. And we just need to align with this line. So if you need to back to here, so you can pick it back that one over here and you can stretch it from this one. So you can easily stretch to here and connect it to this one. So that pipe is okay, and here you need to make one another pipe, so you just need to draw like this. And another thing you can need to give the pipe over here, so copy that one, and just uh, rotate or flip whatever is okay for you, just do it like this, and just select it like this, and just move this one up to here, and uh, this one you can stretch up to the, this one, and here also you can do the same process, and copy this pipe, and just uh, we need to fix it up to the uh, riser so then move this one uh, I think some alignment is different okay so no worry so just to match with this one just I'm just moving this one so just to do like this and I'm just deleting that line and stretching up to the riser so that will go into the another flow so this is the way we are doing the things and here also we need some uh, fittings, so, so just copy, copy the T-junctions from here, just copy, copy the T-junction block from here and just uh, draw this one, rotate this, this one and just move this, this one to the here and just uh, fixing that one in the center of the line, just fix it like this and just uh, move this one to here, so just stretch it up to where we need, so just select that like that and copy this one and fix it over here. So this, this is a simple practice, those who are working, but, but I don't know how many percentage like in the uh, standardization. So this is the simple way those who are working in the firefighting systems and everything. So they can do the way like this, the pipe uh, creations and everything. 
so they can easily do all the things like this we using this dynamic blocks and uh, another things like you can need to move this one over here just to mirror this one and my for mirror and the uh, fade and just click y then you just need to place over here just to move it up to here and just to move this one up to here like if you want to you need to flip it that one you can flip it that things so this will go to the go to the another area and we just need we just need to delete the uh, line from here so the pipes are uh, come up over here and another one same thing you need to make one another uh, riser so just start up from here so it was going up to here and you just need to move it up to here in the center line of that line then select stretch up to here and just you need to uh, draw the pipe like this and uh, just to uh, copy this one copy it and one pipe you need here so just to give the one pipe over here in the center of this one and uh, just to align with our uh, exact pipe just uh, mirror this one just to mirror again uh, right you can rotate in this one so just rotate and align with these lines just align with the, that line and just stretch it up to here so this pipe is connecting to our fitting and this one we need to connect it to the our fitting is like this so we just need to adjust this one a little bit and just uh, stretch this one up to the here so that was created and if you have something error you just need to create it there select that all the things and just uh, stretch it up to the end of the pipe so this is the way we are doing the piping uh, piping in uh, autocad so like uh, like a lot of uh, if you need another branch you can do it and uh, then you need to connect with the sprinklers and other thing using dynamic globe you can do it and you need to give the dimensions for this uh, all the areas and giving tag for that which level it was going that all all need to give so this is the one of the exercise for how to draw the pipes in a uh, pipe system in uh, in autocad so i will i'll give you another video like uh, like lot of uh, another another simple exercise so if it's helpful please subscribe my channel thanks for watching thank you this is the detail we need to provide for all the shop drawing so all the support details and another details we need to give so from the like a pendant and type we need the from the slab around 25 minimum uh, distance required and uh, maximum 305 required so there will be some specifications for nfpa so that we need to read it and uh, just uh, start working on that Thanks, Thanks for watching. watching. Thank, Thank you. you.